starting out the day with brunch. I'll be home for the holidays. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas Day Reflection. Christina Aguilera. Um, welcome to Vlogmas Day 20. We are starting our day. It's 11.30 right now. I literally was in bed, but we are having brunch right now, and Jessica made it. Anoto. Champorado. <laughs> what is it? It's um, gluttonous rice with chocolate, with tableta, and then you put condensed milk, or evaporated milk if you wanted a little bit more sweet, but I put sugar in it already. Yum. She's made it a few times since we've lived here, and so good. But we're gonna eat up, and then later today, I think we're gonna be just running errands throughout um, the town, dropping off, I think you're dropping off gifts, mm -hmm. and then possibly going to different stops along the way. So definitely stick around. If you guys haven't yet, on Vlogmas Day 18, I still have my open giveaway that the deadline is like the 25th. And then watch out for another giveaway in the next few days where it's a little bit more of a bigger giveaway, and it's an international giveaway, so stay tuned. We're that. We are in the car, heading over to drop off. I think Jessica has uh, gifts to drop off in Tacoma, Seward Park, and Redmond. But before we head over to our first stop, which is Tacoma, we actually are, um, we just stopped to schedule our COVID test for tomorrow, which is um, leading up to Christmas so that we can spend Christmas with our families as safely as possible. If you guys remembered from vlog, or I think it might have been Vlogmas Day 6, I mentioned that the week before we ended up taking a test um, to be able to safely meet with our parents for our birthdays, so we're doing the same for Christmas. Also, this this makeup though, it's, it's very glowy. I think it might be because I was using Morphe's Luminous Setting Spray, which is a new one that I have tried. I usually just use the one, the regular one, but I'm really liking the finish. Anyways, we're all, I'm all scheduled. We're gonna do it tomorrow and we'll take you guys tomorrow to our test. Okay, so we found ourselves here in the International District. Uh, Jessica dropped off a couple gifts already, but we are heading over to this place called TP T. I think the T means like Taiwanese. Uh, P, I don't know what P means, but I've seen it on Instagram. So we're gonna go and get bubble tea. Look at this menu. I might just get a pearl milk tea, but they have a lot of different drinks here, and there's a lot of people behind me waiting for their drinks. But it looks like they have freshly brewed tea in their front. This is a little extra wearing this with this. But I uh, got our milk tea. I got a classic milk tea with their boba and their like noodle. But what happened at- So, the lady giving me my drink said, make sure you shake your drink before you drink it. And I said, okay, and then stabbed it with a straw without shaking it. <laughs> she's probably like, she don't, she didn't either hear me or she's just- She dumb. She, she's dumb. <laughs> so, uh, milk tea. The more interesting thing is, they have, um, other than boba, another topping that's like, it's called like QQ noodle, which is like this. <laughs> that's gonna be the thumbnail. Um, it's pretty much like boba, but in noodle form. It's interesting. It's very long, but chewy. Mm. Okay, so we made our way to Seafood City. Um, if you guys have been to Seafood City before, it's a Filipino grocery store. We're trying to get some ingredients and groceries leading up to, um, to Christmas. Since we'll be quarantining for from tomorrow in the middle of the day, we'll probably just get our stuff today. 
um, and tomorrow, and then be done with grocery shopping. Look at all, look at this squid. It's so big. There's also clams in the back. They have jackfruit. Is there a Tagalog name for jackfruit? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> jackfruit. Comment below if you know the Tagalog <laughs> know. word. Okay, we've moved on to Trader Joe's, but look at this sign. It's a little, little raccoon telling you how to and how to not put on your mask. I've seen definitely a lot of people that do this. Can't be doing that. If you guys ever go to Trader Joe's, this Manchego cheese is so good. Definitely give it a try. This cheese, the Cambazola cheese, is probably one of my favorites from like a couple years ago. I've tried other cheeses, but this one is still a really good blue um, gorgonzola-ish stinky cheese. Also, this white truffle popcorn. So good. I've, this will be my third bag. Just got home and we're still wiping down our groceries just to be safe. Do you guys still do that? Um, we got <laughs> hella cheese. I got hella cheese. I got one, two, three, four, five. I got six cheeses. Let's do a quick roundup. From PCC, which I didn't vlog, I got the Cypress Grove Humboldt Fog. Uh, these are smaller cheeses. I got the Cabot, Cabot Cloth Bound Cheddar. This one's a larger one. This is the Acme Camembert, which I've always wanted to try Camembert, but uh, they it was just always too big, but they were selling half sizes. And then from Trader Joe's, I got three cheeses. This one is the White Stilton with apricot. So this one has uh, dried fruit in it, which I'm excited about. This one's a repurchase that I love. I just finished it last night. This is the Manchego cheese. And then I feel like this is such a, not, people don't really eat this cheese, I feel, but the people that have love it. It's a halloumi, but this halloumi looks like there are, there's like some sort of herbs on it because there's the speckles. Also, <laughs> when we were at PCC, we ended up getting, um, PCC is a local grocery store and they have a little hot food section and they're, it's not cheap. And so <laughs> I'm laughing because when you're hungry and you start filling up this to-go box, you just tend to add more food because of how hungry you are, and this is almost $20 worth of food. But let me show you what I got. So I got brown rice, there's a couple pork loins right over there, one, I think it's like a fried chicken. This one is more of a winter green uh, gratin some sort of mango tofu. So I'm gonna eat this up and then figure out what to do next. So I thought I would give you guys a little bit of a review. Um, this is my first time using my new belt bag from Gucci. And you know, to be honest, I actually really, really, really am pleased with the amount of things that I can place in this bag. I put my vlogging camera, I put my phone, I put my little card holder, my hand sanitizer, my keys, and it there was still a lot more room. I didn't realize this, but my cousin Isa said that she actually has this bag as well, and I asked her if she had any problems with the canvas because the canvas is actually not treated, and you can see that it potentially could get a little bit damp and you know that I live in Seattle and it rains a lot here. But she said that it's been fine and Jessica reassured me that the inside lining, I don't know if you can see that right over there. The inside lining isn't the canvas, it's actually another, another material so that if it does get wet, it won't soak through and damage any of the things that I have inside of the bag, so. Happy with that so far. So as I am here, I'm about to edit this vlog. I'm curious to know when I do my international giveaway, so not just people who are living in the States, but everybody else, what kind of thing 
do you want a gift card from? I was thinking Amazon or I was potentially giving the winner the option to figure out which retailer or which medium they would like their gift card at. I, I have a feeling that I'm gonna give it, give X number of US dollars worth of a gift card, but maybe leaving it up to you guys to decide if you win, if you want an Amazon gift card, if you want a iTunes gift card, if you want a Spotify gift card, anything. Maybe that's the better option. I don't know, you guys tell me. If you guys saw my previous vlog about what I got for my birthday, you guys probably saw that my cousin Isa got me this lighter. It's a USB electrical one, so when you click open this and you bring this out, it actually has like these uh, electric currents, I don't know. Um, can you guys hear the high-pitched sound like I can? Here, I'll play it again. It's just so loud to me, and I think it might just be how sensitive my ears are, but it's been working really well with me um, lighting my, my candles. Okay, so I think I'm going to do a Peloton workout. Let's get on the bike. Put a little red and green in it. I don't mind it. I don't mind it during the holidays. Shoulders back, chest lifted. There we go. Beautiful job. See me that pizza looking strong. Keep on waiting. All in for the first verse is JC. Listen. Listen to the whole quality, the smoothness. You would believe me. Ride is over, I'm sweaty, I'm gonna take a shower, and wine after this. Oh, wow, my face is so shiny. Marula oil, Naturium, makes it so glowy. But it is time for wine advent calendar. We are in day 20, so let's open the 20th one up. Is a white. 90% Sauvignon Blanc, 10% Semillon from the brand Seva. Savas? Seva? Does this need to be chilled? I don't want to wait for it to be chilled. We don't have to, we don't have to chill it, just take it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's try this one out. Jason B always making those faces. What faces? I, I was editing earlier today. I'm going to keep it. This one looks like apple juice. Is it? Hmm. You need some ice. No, this one's good. Like this one is pretty good. <laughs> we didn't chill this because it's, um, we're, we don't want to wait, but we're going to add ice. <laughs> don't judge us, but we're going to add ice. Okay, some, some may say this is a, um, what is that? Like a... Sacrilegious? Sacrilegious to, to wine. Um, question of the night. Which Harry Potter house do you think people identify you as? And which Harry Potter house do you think you yourself identify as? Slytherin. So I I think I, it would be the same. I identify and people identify me with Hufflepuff. <laughs> Cause I feel like Hufflepuffs are, so okay. Gryffindor is like the courageous one. Slytherins are the more like um, cunning. cunning. Ravenclaws are more intelligent. Hufflepuff is more... They're good, find They're good at finding things. But what are other qualities of Hufflepuff? Hey Google, what are qualities of Hufflepuff? I think they're the kindest, according <laughs> to Wikipedia. Hufflepuff values hard work, patience, justice, and loyalty. Yeah, I would say that I'm pretty loyal and hardworking and trustworthy. Jason, Jason's face. Slytherin. Me? Yes. What are the qualities of Slytherin? Ask, ask Google. Hey Google. What are the qualities of Slytherin? According to Harry Potter wiki, fandom, traits, Slytherins tend to be ambitious, shrewd, cunning, strong leaders, and achievement-oriented. They also have highly developed senses of self-preservation. This means that Slytherins tend to hesitate before acting, so as to weigh all possible outcomes before deciding exactly mm, what should be no done. Man. That's wrong. That's me. No, that, that's not Jed. Self, when they said self-preservation, I yeah. was like, yeah, you know that marula oil? <laughs> Preserving. Not that kind of self-preservation. <laughs>
Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. Uh, see you guys tomorrow for day 21. Tomorrow is going to be our COVID test. But anyways, see you guys tomorrow. Oh yeah, show pumpkin. See you guys tomorrow.